All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Boxer Wave, headed home on the road, and um, I wanted to speak on this fight because uh, this is a good matchup here. It's a uh, Kalajic is kind of mysterious still because we haven't really seen him fight against anyone good outside of Marcus Brown. But when he was in there with Marcus, he looked good against Marcus. Well, I can't even say he looked good because, you know, it was a messy fight. It was one of the worst fights I've seen that year. I thought the ref did a terrible job um, warning Marcus Brown about the holding. Uh, Marcus Brown was in complete survival mode for a whole half of a fight. And the ref didn't do anything about it. But I noticed that every time Kalajic landed cleanly against Marcus Brown, he hurt Brown. And Brown just never seemed to recover. And outside of that fight, Kalajic pretty much knocked out everybody else he fought, but he didn't fight anyone that great. So this is his second opportunity to get a fight uh, against, uh, well now this is a title fight. Very dangerous fight for better BF. He had better be if who had a, a, a his last fight against Callum Johnson. He almost ended up losing because uh, Callum Johnson was a big puncher, undefeated. Dropped him in that fight. We never seen better be if on a on a on a on a canvas. And you know, better be if won the fight, stopped Callum Johnson, but it was you know it was a very dangerous fight. And he goes into this fight. I, I think this is even a more dangerous fight here because. I think Kalajic is a better boxer than Callum Johnson, you know? After seeing Kalajic fight and Johnson fight, I think they both have power. I don't know who hits harder, but I, I can tell you that Kalajic is, is, is more skillful than Callum Johnson, you know? Uh, Callum Johnson, a big punch, didn't see too many skills in there, you know? Not much defense there. Didn't see much counter punching or anything like that. I didn't see any upper body movement or anything like that. Kalajic is gonna bring a different game and he hits a lot, he hits hard too. You know, and this is a tough fight, man. And let me tell you something else. If I was a champion at 175, I would not, I would try to unify every fight because every fight outside of unification is dangerous. You know, you have so much talent up at 175. This is not like, you know, 175 is not for children. It's not for play play. You know, that's why I was surprised when uh, Bottle Jack went up in weight because, you know, he must have really been struggling making a weight because 175 is no joke, man. You have an elite, I mean, look at the fighters that are are not even champions here. You got Sullivan Barrera. You have Joe Smith Jr. You know, you got you got guys like Callum Johnson up there. You know, you got guys that can punch, and they're losing fights and box. Some of them can box very well. You know. You know, Gerdo's going up there in weight, and he's going to be fighting Carpency, I believe. That's That fight is coming up, too. There's a lot of good fights up there at 175, man. And a lot of these guys can box, and they can punch. Very, very dangerous division, you know. It's very easy to have an upset in that division. Because everybody's a puncher at 175, you know. You know, Alvarez recently lost to Kovalev in every match, but Alvarez, look, this is a guy that, look how good he is, and he doesn't even hold a title right now. You know, uh, you know, it's it's a tough, tough division. You got Marcus Brown, who looked bad against Kalajic, but looked great against everybody else he fought, and he can punch as well. So, it's a dangerous division. Uh, this is a great fight Better BF I, I would hope that if he is to win this fight some way He needs to get into a unification match Because you keep getting in fights like this You're going to end up getting knocked out Before you could face a Kovalev or 
Gabozik or you know uh, who else is a champion up there? You got uh, uh, what's the Bavol? You know, you got all these great talents up there that can punch and box. You know, you can't sleep on Kovalev neither. You know, I know he lost to Alvarez and lost to Andre Ward, but can't sleep on him neither. You still can't sleep on him. The dude can box and he punches. But this fight here is a great fight, man. And I won't be surprised if if, if Kalogic, Kalogic pulls off the upset. You know, I don't know who they have as odds and, and all that betting stuff. I don't know who's the underdog in this fight. But I'm sure it's very, very close, man. Because Berbiev is a puncher. And Kalogic is a puncher too, man. And I, 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 I view Kalajic as undefeated because I definitely thought he beat Mar Marcus Brown. I did a video back then on that. Better be if he's undefeated too. But he looked a little shaky in his last fight, you know? He still got off the window. He still got the stoppage. So I'm giving him his props, but I haven't seen... Uh, I want to see Better be if fight somebody for real, you know? I would like to see him uh, unify at some point. But to me, to be honest with you, I look at Better BF as being probably probably the weakest champ at 175. And that says a lot about the division, the division because I know some of you might disagree with me. But if you look at the four champs at 175, they're all solid. You know, there there's no weak, there's no true weak link up there at 175. All of those guys that have a title at 175 are legit. You know? So, I'm looking forward to the fight. I really don't know who's going to win this fight, though, man. Because it seems like every person that these two fighters fought, whenever they landed clean against anybody they faced, they knocked them out. These guys got some serious one-punch knockout power. Better BF has the better resume, for sure. Because he started off quickly beating guys like Tavares Cloud and... Uh, some of the older 175, you know, top contenders. He came out, starting out really, really fast, but he hasn't been that active, you know. So Kalajic hasn't beaten anybody great, you know. I mean, Marcus Brown was his, 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 even with the loss, that that was his best opposition that he's faced to this point. Everybody out, he knocked out, and he knocked out pretty quickly. But I've seen some of his fights. It's not much on YouTube, but I've seen some of his stuff. The dude's legit, man. And I think he's more dangerous than Callum Johnson. So I'm expecting a knockout here. I'm expecting a, a, a knockout or knockdowns in a war, you know? This is a great fight. Don't sleep on this fight. Definitely check this fight out. I am not picking a winner here. I can't pick a winner here, you know? I don't know because I, I don't know enough about the two of them to even pick. All I know is that they both have power. Um, they both got skills, but I, I look at it. I think this is a really complete 50-50 even match. Like It doesn't really get more 50-50 than this. It's too many unknowns. I'm going to sit back and watch it, but I'm just letting you guys know. Um, shout out to uh, Del Boy. Del Boy YouTube on YouTube.